Hello and welcome to our beauty, lifestyle and fashion show. I'm your host, Adeze Adwaka. And I am EJ Kimura, your co-host. Now, let's dive into the latest buzz in the world of beauty, fashion and lifestyle. These are the headlines. Ashakes Lungu Boy is joint highest charting Afrobeat album on the US Apple Music. Dramatic video shows Travis Scott being dragged out of a five-star Paris hotel in handcuffs following arrest. I was deeply hurt and shocked, a young Miami on X, Didi's abuse allegations. And lastly, Blake Lively goes a bear beneath a blazer for It Ends With Us photo call in London. And on our trending segment, continuing his global ascension, as Shakir released his third album, Lungu Boy, and the album was released on August 9, 2024, and it features several superstars, including Grammy-winning Nigerian superstar, Wizkid, British rappers Central C and Stormzy, American superstar Travis Scott, and Brazilian singer Ludmilla. Ashake's third album reached number two on Apple Music's chart hours after its release. With this feat, Ashake equals the record for the highest charting Nigerian album on the platform jointly held by Burner Boys, I Told Them, and Davido's Timeless. Hmm, Ashake. I love, love, Ashake, love him. Ashake. I haven't really listened to any of the songs I have, here. It's I just have. the one he did with um, Central C and the one that he did with Travis Scott. I haven't My really favorite is Travis that. Scott. It's called... Mm. Uh, that's the one I like. And yeah. I like the one oh, with... Oh, yeah, and I'm active. And I like hey. the one with um, Wizkid. Oh, yeah, I love the one with Skid. Really it sounds and there's really another really one good. that they say Fuji something something. Yeah. So some people dance into yeah. it. I'm like, oh wow. Okay. It's so funny how Shaka, all his album is like everything's just just hit. It's like hit after hit after hit. Yeah. Um, so people are actually really criticizing and saying it's whack and it doesn't make any sense. No, but I think to each their own. Yeah, yeah. I love I love Shaka. Teach their own. And in our sporty segments, footage has emerged of Travis Scott being hauled out of a five-star Paris hotel in handcuffs after he was arrested for an altercation with his bodyguard. The video kicks off with the rapper being dragged through the Four Seasons Hotel lobby by three male cops before being aggressively led into a waiting police car with his handcuffs behind his back. The video ends with Travis getting into a van with his hands released from the cops. Wow. So embarrassing. A whole Travis. I saw like, the video. Why would you have that kind of altercation? I wonder what happened. Like Paris, come on. Get a hold yeah. of yourself. Paris again. Again. <laughs> it was so embarrassing seeing the way, you know, they were holding the handcuffs, yeah. his head bowed down. Yeah, he was back. really trying to cover his face from the paparazzi yeah, because there's a lot of paparazzi then, out you know, there. Travis Scott, everybody knows who you are, yeah. so you cannot even hide your face from the paparazzi for I wonder that what long. he did. What I do you think he did? He, they said an altercation with his bodyguard. So, yeah, if, before, that shouldn't have altered for him to get hanged. Do you see how they you know, it depends on the level of the altercation. Gosh. And you know, when you're in a foreign country, you just have to play by yeah, the rules. Yeah, you're right and about you that. Anything, they get you arrested. And yeah, that's it. And yeah. I hope that is, you know, being resolved by them. I hope it's out by now. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I, hope, I hope, really hope it's been released. Welcome back and on to our editorial segment. In a recent interview, Young Miami expressed her deep shock and hurt regarding the claims made by Cassie. However, she was quick to clarify that her experience with Didi was different, emphasizing that her relationship with him did not involve any forms of abuse. When asked about the end of their relationship, Young Miami explained that it was simply a matter of timing and circumstances. I think that Young Miami's relationship with PD, I feel like she cannot really say a lot of things. Mm -hmm. So I think she played it safe during the interview. I think which, she played it safe yeah. as well. But do you think she signed an NDA? She sure did. Because I know sure a lot did. of the celebrities don't joke with their yeah, secrets. Yeah, she and signed one, she definitely. She felt really uncomfortable. I felt like she was trying to play safe. She would say this. They would ask her a question. She would divert. Yes. I feel like she said everything without saying without anything. Without saying anything. That's and she blamed a lot of people instead of herself. Yeah. Exactly. So I feel like she said a lot of things. Yeah. And for you to say that oh, okay you didn't have any form of abuse or it didn't happen to you that's fine don't come out tomorrow miami and tell us that anything happened exactly because they always come back not going to feel sorry <laughs> they always come so back you had an opportunity to say and speak you through mm -hmm. that you did not so yeah. girl we stand behind you whether yeah. you did it or not now onto our new collection just in time for the heart of summer noble has released a summer running apparel collection the assortment of gear includes newly released apparel and accessories, including men's hybrid short, men's Delta Peak micro texture tank, and the reflective running belt. Oh, wow. I've never heard of all of this micro texture tank, reflective running belt. I feel like all these things are strange to me. I think it's for those who are really into exactly. <laughs> it's very futuristic. It's given futuristic vibes. Really into fitness and all of that. I think they'll get a hang of it. Yeah. But, I mean, it sounds good. Yeah. 
Welcome back onto our spicy or not segment. Blake Lively continued her whirlwind promo tour for It Ends With Us in London, wearing an oversized white Stella McCartney jacket without a top with matching wide leg pants. Lively wore her hair down in loose wave, accessorizing with green statement earrings, crystal covered pale green sandals, and several sparkling grips. Yes. Yes, girl. I'm here for Blake anytime. Any She's been day. in a thing for a while, like back to yeah, back, right? She has. A fashion been, sense. Yeah, the whole red carpet appearances for It Ends With Us is just from yeah. one red carpet to another, from yeah. one interview to another, and yeah. she's slain and she's giving killing it to us it. back to back, giving back us really back. floral, feminine yes. kind of look, really spicy. I love Blake it for Lively, her. We love you. <laughs> and don't forget to catch us up at Spice TV underscore Africa. Until the next episode, do have a lovely time, guys. Bye. Bye.